But let's go ahead and get to this last video real quick and the final conclusion. Okay, final update here. Sorry it took so long to get back to everyone. I've been reading all of the comments for a while now and just want to say thank you for all of the support. First, I want to address the comments saying that I'm divorcing my wife because of a dietary issue that needs to wake up. The issue runs far deeper. My wife purposely neglected to buy my daughter's grocery list after insisting every time to do the grocery and food organizing on her own. She purposely neglected my daughter and disrespected her. There's literally no telling what else she is willing to do to my daughter and already has. Therefore, I no longer trust her. I'm honestly disappointed in my wife. Just to clarify, my daughter isn't spoiled. She works for half of the things that she owns. She pays for her own school books and her own phone bills by her choice. She's also a straight AB student. She literally is one of the biggest people pleasers you will ever meet. She's also a very calm natured person and doesn't hash out her problems by fighting and yelling. She's very mature. I talked with my daughter first and told her I was divorcing my wife. She was shocked and kept persisting that I give her another chance and that she isn't in any way upset. I told her that I understand, but I was upset and I assured her that this wasn't her fault and I just wanted the best for her. She got very defensive and said, you need to be worried about your own happiness. I'm leaving for the military or college in a few years and you're going to be an old man with no one there for you. I laughed and said that I could be 130 and still make the best out of being alone. After that, we laughed, we cried, she apologized and we comforted each other. Next, it was time to talk to my son. He looked so taken aback, then started full on crying. I comforted him, telling him that it wasn't his fault and continuously apologizing to him. After he calmed down, I explained the entire situation to him. He looked embarrassed and tired, and he started apologizing for his mother's actions. After a while, he cleared his throat and said, so does this mean that you won't be my dad anymore? I was heartbroken by that sentence and started shedding a few tears. I told him that he would always be a son and that I would still financially support him even if he cut contact with me. He cried and assured me that he wanted me as a dad and expressed that he knew that his mother wouldn't let me see him. I assured him and comforted him. About two hours later, it was finally time to break the news to my wife. I had both kids present and most of you all suggested getting evidence, so my phone was in my pocket so I could record the entire conversation. I started the conversation off by asking what she had against my daughter. She was dead silent before I finally spoke up again, saying, I'm divorcing you, so you should start looking for a lawyer. I asked her to explain why she was neglecting and disrespecting my child. At this point, she was crying but not making any sound. My daughter spoke up and suggested that we have this conversation later. I argued against the idea with my daughter until my wife spoke up and said that she did it because my daughter is the spitting image of her mother, my ex. Obviously, me and my kids and I were confused about what her mom had to do with anything. I asked her to explain further and she started crying. I could barely understand, but apparently I was cheating on her with my ex, not true. She said I would flirt with her on the phone while laying right next to her, also not true. Who in their right mind would even do such a thing? She said that the relationship I have with my ex isn't normal. I'll explain our relationship thoroughly in the comments. And no, I do not in any way condone cheating and I haven't cheated on my wife once. After saying that our relationship was normal, she started berating my ex. Now, like I said before, my daughter is naturally a laid back and calm person, but she does not condone any type of disrespect towards her mother. She gave my wife a verbal assault so foul Mike Tyson wouldn't recover from it before stomping off to her room. If you're wondering if I stepped in, the answer is no. I'm not sorry either. I wouldn't repeat what she said here because I don't want anybody attacking my daughter. The conversation basically ended there. I went upstairs to calm down my daughter and my son stayed downstairs to console his mother. I'll be taking my wife to court for visitation rights with my son. I'll also tell you all the things my wife said in the comments to respect Reddit 3000 word limits. What? So she read Cinderella, I see. Okay. Yeah. And, and by the way, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's a... She did all that because she looks like her mother. Hmm. That's a lie. There's something else, but that's a lie. Cause did she? Did she? If, if you listen, listen to how she says it in 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 order, because you look just like your mother, and you are cheating on me with the ex-wife. So why did you not take it out on the husband? The husband. 
So there, that's a lie. I'm telling you that now. There's something else. Um, I've always come to the conclusion now with these stories that and I heard one today that something <laughs> these stories always have this one thing leads to another thing and I'm so sick of these that's why I keep thinking some of these stories are fake because it's like it, it literally be the most basic thing in the world I caught him looking at a girl when we went to the ball and I told him to stop and he got mad. Okay, then you need to tell him to stop looking at a girl or you done. Is this a habit of him? Oh yeah, he done ha ever since we've been dating slash married, he done had three other kids while we was to get like, come on, are you serious? That is the main topic. This is the example of it. This had nothing to do with food. And it also has nothing to do with you look like your mama. And kudos to the daughter. Like, thank you for putting that, that boundary up right now. You talk about my mama, you're getting cussed out. I don't give a damn who you are. You grow up to be people like me. You talk about my mama, you're getting cussed out from the beginning to the end and all the way up the middle. <laughs> this had nothing to do with food. That's nope. the point. Because if everybody don't remember what the title of the story was from the beginning, the title of the story was Am I the A-hole for taking my daughter out to eat? That was the title of the story. And here's where we at now. So, Tracy, that's why I'm saying thank you so much. It was very mature of you to go. Let me hear the rest of the story before I get my comment. Let me hear just the rest of it. Because maybe consciously or subconsciously, you don't come to the conclusion that eh, these stories don't end the way it begins. It always just blows up into something that's just like you make these little things so benign at the beginning of these stories and then it's a ravaged flood of other stuff going on. Ooh. So I still stand behind every single screw you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like oh, I said, it's the difference between a child that I don't eat easy but chicken nuggets and french fries. Okay, no, you're going to eat some vegetables. You're going to eat something. You don't have an allergy. You don't. I know, like, when, because I would always complain about this. When you get on the plane, you know, they used to serve, like, um, like nuts and, and stuff. And then you just get, well, a half a Coke and some pretzels. I'm like, well, why they stop serving nuts? Oh, duh, people have allergies to peanuts. You just never think about it. Oh, just Jonda. Jonda, how you doing? Oh, about, oh, oh, sorry, Tracy. Let me jump in real quick. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, I you never totally, from the bottom of my heart, hated that decision. You do not do that ever. Yeah, and me then, and Foxy jumped back and forth with the whole, should you even have a discussion with the kids before the wife or after the wife? And I still jump to the point of saying, I don't know because it depends on the person. Because No, he should have discussed that with her first instead of the kids and then her. He, he was the deal, all out though. of order. He was literally out of order for that. But here's he the made deal, the right though. decision. But, then he jumped, on... but he, did he do that so he could get the real story out before she got to the kids and told her version of it. He's She's already her. lied. She, he had the responsibility of telling her first and then they tell the kids together. Yeah, but that whole that whole thing that went down doing it in front of the kid, no, I, no. 
There's yeah. nothing you could tell me that's gonna tell me that was correct to do. Nah, bro. Keep your relationship between the yeah, people separate. in the relationship. Yeah. Yeah, that you was... tell them, you tell them, but you... Right. But you don't bring her in last. Right. Uh How's the daughter playing the father despite desperate to blame her much? She didn't even make this an issue. He yeah, did. the daughter never made an That's issue. What I'm she saying. didn't the say nothing. She was like... Dude, dude, dude. She's replying to Mickey. Oh. Yeah, the daughter never... But again, we're going back to the original thing. The daughter never said anything. Nothing. So nothing. How, what was she going to get out of this? And Mickey, and I'm, just, I'm just so confused on... He, she's playing the father. They suffer. How? Yeah, this she's is, like, she didn't even bring it up. This None is, of this was brought up. Yeah, this is a totally different one. Like I keep saying, there's a difference between, you know, I have nieces and nephews, they're picky eaters. And basically, um, their parents, my brother and sister, it's like, you're going to eat this. You don't have allergies. You don't have anything wrong with your system. You're just being a picky eater. You're going to eat this or you're not going to eat it all. Now, of course, auntie, not saying which one, may be more accustomed to making adjustments but that's what aunties are for 